guys welcome to my channel for today I have something very different for you guys I'm going to be um, dyeing the sofa it's a vintage sofa it's a 1950 vintage sofa I bought it on offer up for $45 and it's like a yellow it's like a not yellow it's like a gold color it has very nice pattern um, but I really don't like the color it doesn't go to the what I'm looking for I really love the sofa I really don't get me wrong um, I took out the cushions because I'm going to be dyeing this you might say what dyeing this yes I'm going to be dyeing my sofa and I'm going to show you what paint I'm going to be using so I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum paint um, I'm sorry Rust-Oleum chalk um, matte paint okay uh, make sure when you paint um, if you are wanting to paint something like a fabric something you must have to know that has to be chalk it, it can be chalkboard it has to be chalk and you can use any um, brand that you want I use the Rust-Oleum um, chalk paint and this is H grade this is the color I'm going for this is this will be like the for, um, furniture fabric furniture that I painted um, already you have to leave it dry for 24 hours and of course you're gonna need a spray bottle and you're gonna need a fabric brush you can use any kind of brush you like but um, I've seen on uh, YouTube and everything a lot of uh, reviews and they ask they show you that a paintbrush is much better guys sorry guys I have water in here because I had it a paintbrush it'll be much better these fabric brushes you can find these at michael's at hobby lobby but i found mine a much um i went to hobby lobby and i couldn't find mine they gave me like a big ass brush so i found mine um at michael's and you can use a 40 percent with these because they're at current prices so you don't forget to use your 40 percent off coupon for michael's so um that's what you're gonna need the rustoleum paint you can use any color any brand you want i am using this one and of course, um, here I have my Rust-Oleum paint open already because this is like a second can. So this is the color. And I already, it's, you can see it's very liquidy because you have, to add some, you have to add some water on here. So I added like about two ounces of water. Yeah, so I added some water and see how it's very liquidy because you're going to be um, dyeing your sofa. You're not gonna paint it, it's dyeing your sofa. That's why you want this to be liquidy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it around and make sure any fabric that you are uh, dyeing you must clean it before you dye it you want to take off any dust any nothing because you don't want that to stick when you are going to be dyeing your paint because that will stick to the to your fur to the paint and everything so you don't want that so make sure that you dust off your sofa and everything or whatever you're going to be painting make sure it's nice and clean with no dust or nothing no hair or dogs anything you, you know what i mean so i'm just going to go ahead and take this out I just put my paint here because it had a little bit left over from my other project so I just put the water in here and I'm just going to go ahead and do it but I do have another can of paint because that's probably going to be enough um, so let's get started guys so I'm going to show you really quick how I'm going to start um, I'm going to get my brush here and take it out of here because I don't want this I just put some water here so it could stay here overnight so I'm just going to take the excessive water that I have here and I'm just going to dump it in my brush I'm gonna bring my water bottle. So I have my, I have my, I don't have no one to help me record, guys. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm holding my my iPhone in one hand and my camera in the other one. So it has very nice texture. This sofa, guys. I paid forty five dollars for this. I bought it online. It has a very nice texture. Um, and I like the texture. The only thing I don't like is the color, guys. Uh, so it's very important, guys that you have a spray bottle um, and you're gonna be spraying the surface of your sofa um, you're gonna say what yeah, yeah it's very important you carry a water bottle you I, put, I picked up um, the paint you can purchase at Menards Home Depot I bought mine the first one I bought was at Menards and I bought this spray pot, uh, bottle at Menards for 88 cents um, so you're just gonna go ahead and spray paint I mean uh, water down your sofa so that's what I'm doing guys, just watering it down. You can see it's watering down. Okay, so you see the fabric is all nice and wet. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that a little bit so I can show you. Okay, so what I'm gonna go here is I'm gonna go in here guys. I don't want it to drip so much, so I'm just gonna... All right, here we go. So here, here you go, just go around like this circle it around make sure you go inside your fabric this is probably gonna need like 
depends how um depends how much um color you want with the chalk paint you can do it to five coats guys it depends how many coats um you want i don't care about this guys because it's going to be another color so you know of course if you don't want it to paint this you're going to have to um put something in the, on the back to hold this but i don't mind because i'm going to be done i'm going to be painted that later on um, i'm going to be painted that. so you see guys i'm just going around it like this um, I'm just gonna go around it because like I said this is going to be dying I can also right away this is like the first coat um, you can see the difference um, so with chalk paint you can give it to five coats guys so it depends on and this is gonna be my first coat I'm gonna put on and it depends I'll wait 24 hours so it's probably gonna take me three days to do this um, so I'll see my first coat how I like it it depends how much, how I like it on my first coat. If not, I can give it to five coats. So I will be back, guys, so you can see how. Because I'm gonna be here for a while, so I don't, I can't be holding the camera and and painting this. But I'll be back, guys, so you can see the results. But like I said, guys, um, you keep going, just keep going and just go around it. But make sure all the surface that you are dying your sofa, you have to um make sure that it's wet because like i said you are dying your sofa you're not painting your sofa you're dying the sofa so that's why it has to have water on here so i'm doing this outside because it's very hot today it's a very hot day so it's very good for me to be out here and this will help me so you see the difference guys all right guys well i'll be back to show you the results on my first coat right, guys, back. i'm back this is the first coat that i put on the sofa it's very hot hey guys if you live here in chicago today is one of the worst days it's so hot today so that's why sorry guys i have paint because i'm painting something else um this is the, the first coat that i put on my sofa so you can see i know guys i painted the trim over it um this is gonna be another color um so i don't care about that i'm just gonna wipe that off i've been wiping it off but this is the first coat guys um you can see uh, it looks kind of ugly right now, but you can say, oh, it's an ugly color, but it's, my mom came out here, she's like, oh, you can still see the yellow or the gold, I know, but this is the first coat, guys, it's completely dry because it's so hot right now, so I was going to leave it dry for 24 hours, but it is so hot out here right now that it drew, it drew, it drew, it dried up so fast right now, so I'm going to sand it down, uh, I'm going to bring my sandpaper and, and I'm going to show it's, um, I'm going to sand it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat on today. Um, and we're just gonna let it dry to tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll uh, sand it again and then do a third coat and see. But I'm gonna see how my second coat looks. Like right now, guys, you can see the little gray on there, but you still can see the yellow on there. So I, and that's not the color I'm going for. So I might think, I think this might take about five coats. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong. Um, because it's a yellow color, so like a gold color. This is the color. It is um, you can see right there um, it is getting like a grayish color it change I'm just gonna wipe it down because it's been drying out here um, so this I don't care about this later on I'm going to be changing the color to this um, I have paint guys because I've been painting this um, uh, don't mind my deck guys I am gonna paint my deck for it too uh, we're painting that too um, but I'm just finished painting this um, this beautiful table um, I forgot to take a picture before guys um the ladies um sold it to me uh for ten dollars only reason she sent it ten dollars because it was all here was all damaged it so i sanded it down really good i sanded it real good and i painted this one with uh, another rustoleum a paint and i will put the picture i will put the picture of um of um if you guys like this i really like this it's uh i think I'll, so the color from this table, the only reason I going to show it to you because the color of this table is going to be the color that I'm going to paint the trim on this sofa. But I won't do that until last when I'm done with all this. And I'm going to have, I'm going to come in with a real small, small, small brush to do all the trim on the sofa. I'm not going to do it right now, guys, because I need to finish all this. I need to um, do all the chalk and everything on here, the paint, and it's going to just go over it. So I'm just going to do that last. So I just wanted to show you guys. This video is going to be kind of long, guys. Um, 
because like I said, it's gonna take about four or five coats to finish the sofa, the color I really want. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks right now. Um, and I'll be back guys to show you how I'm gonna be sanding this. And for a sanding, you have to get in a 220, um, number 220 or 200, you have to use. I'm using a 220. Um, so um, I picked up one at Dollar. I did pick up a what, 220 at Menards. Uh, but it's like a paper, but every time I use a paper, it's like it falls off of my hand. So I picked up a one at Dollar Tree. I'm not sure exactly, guys, what number is the one from Dollar Tree. Um, if you're not satisfied of using that one because you don't know, I don't want to tell you, yeah, go ahead and buy it at Dollar Tree. I picked up a one Dollar Tree, guys, and I use it on my other um, mattress. I use it on my one of my chairs, and it was good for me, but I don't want to go, I don't want you to go ahead and use the one at Dollar Tree and it messes up your couches or sofa. So don't use that one. So use just a 220. Go pick up one of my Menards or, or Home Depot. Um, so, you know, just use a 221. Uh, make sure it's a 220. Um, that's what they usually tell you um, on the videos on YouTube uh, to use it because um, you don't want it's just a little sanding you're gonna give it to your couch because it it um, right now if you touch it, it is hard because of the paint um, that's where you're gonna sand it when once you sand it you're gonna wipe it down and everything but I'll show you right now guys so I'll be back with you so to show you that second process all right guys well today is the next day today is Sunday um, I did um, so this is the second coat that I gave it. Um, <clears throat> this is the second coat that I gave it to um, the sofa. Um, I finished sanding it. Like I said, I, I did sand it. Um, let me see if I can do a close up. Um, so this is the color. This is the second coat that I put on um, and I sanded it down. So I did lift it overnight. I, I did put a plastic over because I thought it was going to rain. Um, excuse me. Um, but no, it didn't rain, so I'm glad of that. So it dried up really, really good. And I'm going to try to finish it today. Hopefully, I can finish it today because today is Sunday and it's one of the hottest days in Chicago again today. It's going to be 95, but it's going to feel like 105, they were saying. So it's going to be very hot today. So being out here, um, so it, it'll dry up real good. So maybe I can do finish it today, the whole project. And I'll keep it, I'll check, um, I'm going to keep um, showing you guys the results. So right now, guys, I'm going to um, just clean it off because I did sand it all. I, I sand everything down. <clears throat> you can see I did sand everything down. So I sand everything down. And I'm just going to clean it down. Just going to clean it away. Like I just, I think I messed up on this, guys. I should have just put some like tape over it to trim. And now I'm gonna have to sand down the trim, take off this chalk paint. So don't do the mistake that I did and not put some um, uh, some like painter's tape around it, the trim. But I guess that's what it is. What it is, what it is. You know, can't do nothing about it. But, so just finish sanding this. And <clears throat> I'm gonna clean the gonna get a clean um, rag make sure you get a, like a real nice clean rag and okay so I like I said I would sand it I'm gonna get a clean rag and just make sure that I'm just gonna go and wipe it down I'll just take off the, the powder of the why I was sanding it. Just, whew, the camera's getting all dusty. So you see, I was just gonna go around it just to take the excess powder of what you sand down the your your sofa, whatever you're painting. This little rag I bought this at Dollar Tree. This has to be a nice clean rag. You want it to be nice and clean. And um, yeah guys, so I'm gonna start with the third coat guys and I'll be back to show you how the third coat goes on. 
like I said guys don't get scared um because that's how I got scared when I first did mine they get hard um once it dries it gets like really really hard your sofa or whatever you're going to be mm, dying all right guys so this is the third coat that I give up to the sofa um I went back into the store I went into the store right now because I needed more paint um, it's gonna take about five coats. I'm gonna put five coats the third one I put on here um, I did went into Menards to get more paint because I don't think um, one quart is gonna uh, Do for the whole sofa okay, it's a big sofa and I did pick up one of these guys and this is the one I picked uh, I picked up 220 This was about three dollars and forty seven cents and I did pick up another this one of the Rustoleum um h great um right now menards has it on sale for 10.88 um so i really like menards instead of going to home depot um i decided to go to menards and menards before you go anywhere else goes guys like home depot i i prefer myself to go to menards menards always has better sales they have it at for 10.88 right now so that's a good buy because it's usually this can runs about 18 dollars that's what i paid for mine at the um, the first time i bought it it was 18 dollars and the second time I went to, um, um, the first time I bought it at Menards, the second time I bought it at um, Home Depot and I paid $18 and today I went into Menards and they have it for $10.88, they have it on sale. So I'm really glad that I went into Menards to purchase this. Um, so I went to purchase another one. So I think with this um, should be fine. So it's all dried up guys. So like I said, I'm probably gonna be able to finish it tonight. I'm real happy about that. So right now I'm gonna sand it down right now. You're gonna see me sanding this right now to give it the third coat. I am gonna be giving it the third coat, guys. So I'm gonna be sanding this down and I'll show you how it's going to be looking. So right now you're gonna see me sanding this down. I'm sanding it right now. You hear me standing there guys so I'm gonna be standing it down guys so I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll be back um, I hope this camera is picking it up you guys seen um, it's getting there the color is getting there guys right now it's on my mom I really don't like it no more but it's getting there it just has to be trimmed the trim is gonna be painted too after the trim is painted everything guys uh, we'll see how it looks but I really love how it's coming out like I said it's a great color and the gray is coming out it's probably gonna take five coats exactly all right guys well I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so I am back um, I seen down all my my sofa um, I went I'm putting the wax on so this is the wax that I'm using you can use any wax you want this is the one I bought this I got this at Walmart for almost six dollars um, this is the one I got so what you can use is um, on a brush I got this brush that I'm using or you can use it with a with a, with a rag or it has to be a clean rag guys um, so I'm using a brush and this brush I got it at Dollar Tree um, or you can use a fabric um, brush like the one I had but I don't have one another one so what I'm just gonna do is just gonna put it over my sofa like this look if I'm painting the sofa just make sure that you got all the wax you don't want to leave chunks of wax on it so just make sure guys because it will look it has to be like it's gonna be wet so you're gonna let it dry and go over with and you're just gonna see the wax you gonna see your cut um i'm almost almost on my sofa i finished the sofa i just need the trim i'm just doing the the seat the the cushions to the sofa that's all i have to do i already did the other side so you see this side this is the original color the sofa was and we're going for this color so this is the last i have to do after this um i already did the 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 other side i sand them down and everything so i was gonna put the i was gonna put the wax on these on the other side but i said no because i want to finish this side up so one side can dry and then I can put the wax on and then one side and the other side dry so it has to take about 24 hours so what I'm just doing is wetting the um I'm just wetting it with my spray bottle that's all I'm doing just make sure it's all wet and moist 
So when I go over it, um, I don't have to be wetting it. You see this one, I already have it wet. Um, this is the, um, my sofa. It's already been waxed and everything. I waxed it everything. This is how it came out, guys. I really love how it came out. Um, I just have to work on the trim. I'm going to be sanding this down. The chalk paint, um, it does come off with water. Uh, if you um, put a bit of water on the plant in this uh, chalk, it's going to be coming off. Um, after that, I'm just going to be um, probably a little sand right here. I'm going to sand it down. And you can see I already started painting a little bit on here. So I'm going to be doing the trim. All this trim is going to go... Um, I'm going to paint it and see I put I put some paint on there already. Um, it's probably going to take about two coats of this color. So myself, it's ready. It's already been waxed and everything. So it's ready to go. I just have to do the, the other part. And I'll let you guys see the final results when I do the trim and everything. How the sofa came out and everything, guys. Well, I hope you guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It is kind of long, guys, because it is a long process. But I wanted to show you guys everything, how everything's coming out. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. Well, I'm um, having my mom. is going. My mom is helping me paint all the trim on this um, on the sofa. This is the color we went in for. My, can you show me the book? This is the color that we're using. I'm um, sorry, it's all with paint. But this is the color that we're using. It's a rust paint. And it's a glossy one. So this is all the trim is being done. This is a blue tape that my mom's putting over so she won't um, go over the sofa. But this is the trim. This is the color we're going for. And this is the before color. Um, some part of this has chalk, but I'm just cleaning it off right now. So um, this is the color that the original color. And it's looking like this. After it paint, after it dries, it's looking like that. And right now it's dry, it's still wet. And I really like that color, guys. So this is the final results, the final coats. I did put like um um, four coats I did it for this it was four coats I did um, you can see right now I did the cushions on here I'm gonna show you the cushions the cushions are on this side um, they're still drying um, I think they're probably they're pretty good dry I did both sides the other ones on that side too so what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna wax them and I'm gonna use this wax that I bought at um, I was gonna say Dollar Tree guys at Walmart um, this is the second one I bought. This is the second one I bought because the whole couch took one. So I bought another one. And I went into Walmart today to find another one but didn't have it. So I'm going to have to probably go to another Walmart. Um, but this is the one I am using, guys, right now. Sorry, my phone is kind of shaky. I don't know what's going on with it. So this is the one I'm using right now. Okay, so I am using this one. And I purchased these um, paint brushes at Walmart for $4.98, almost $5.00. Um, there's 25 paint brushes in here um, and I'm using so my mom the one my mom's using is that one I bought these so I needed a small paint brush for my trim for my um, sofa so we got that and right now guys um, in a bit I'm just gonna put this wax over it like I'll show you guys right now all right guys so I have my brush right here um, and I'm just gonna shake this around and this it's like a liquid on here, it's just liquid. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush inside. There's like there's some special paintbrushes guys that you can buy for um to put your wax, but I don't I didn't buy this one, so what I'm just gonna do is just go over it like this. Just go over it like this, like if I'm painting, just make sure that you don't leave any chunks of uh, wax over it. It's gonna go over like this, like if you're painting it. It's gonna go over like this. It's just to um, seal the chalk paint on there. So it's just gonna put it over like this. Like if you're painting it again, that's all you're gonna do, guys. Like you're painting it. Just see, don't leave any chunks in there. So this is what I'm doing, just waxing. I'm just waxing it. Just got a little paintbrush. I'm just gonna go over like this. Just make sure that all the wax goes down. We don't want to leave any chunks of wax in just one place. We want to go over it. There's different wax ways that you can use, guys. Um, this is the one I use um, that I purchased at Walmart. I've seen um, people use different kinds. This is the one, I guess, the one you like. This is not so expensive. Home Depot has one. It was kind of expensive. 
Um, this one was a cheapest one I found. It was like five nine. It was like it was like six dollars at Walmart. Um, I am gonna see if I can find another one at another different location because my Walmart, the one is close to my house, didn't have another one. So I'm going to be looking for another one in another Walmart because I'm gonna need like maybe two more. I'll probably go in Amazon see if they have a bigger one and they can find Amazon. So. This is just basically what I'm doing, guys. Make sure you don't leave any chunks. You don't want to leave any chunks in there. The wax will just lay. We'll see the seal of the, your um, fabric. Um, so when people sit on it or something, guys, you just it's just to seal it and you know make it softer and everything. Um, but it's just to make it softer and it'll seal your your paint on there and you know just you know a lot of people say you don't have to do it, but I I seen a lot of people say yeah it was better to seal your chalk, I mean your chalk your um your fabric with wax. So I went and I went and I did that. So if you don't want to do this, you can just skip this process, guys, and um that's it. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna keep on waxing these, and I will show you guys um maybe t later on or tomorrow where we fix we finish all the trim. I will show you guys the footage of my completely sofa i hope you guys enjoy this video if you are not subscribed to my channel please take the time to subscribe don't don't forget to hit the notification button guys so every time i load up a video you will be notified and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe comment like share and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys don't forget to give me a big thumbs up bye